Chris Hodge from the Tamsey BMW. I've been coming here to the Salt for the past 10 years, racing on a whole variety of bikes. We own a couple of records still, and I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about our experiences today. My name is Willie Hodgson. I'm the racer of 446. The first time we came out here was in uh, 2000. Uh, one of the mechanics in the store noticed a record that somebody set on a Moto Guzzi and thought we could take one of our old ra road racers and bring it out here and break that record, which we did. In fact, we set two records that year. And we, we find this to be the ultimate challenge to come out here. It's the great white dyno. It, it's, there's no BS out here. It either goes fast or it doesn't. So this year with the new S1000, uh, we decided to contest the production record. Uh, after I ran it on our dyno, found out that 184 horsepower at the rear tire it was an obvious candidate to bring out here. I am absolutely blown away at, at, at the performance of it out of the box. Um, you said with a very minor amount of work, uh, I couldn't think of any less work you could possibly do to the bike other than maybe not wipe it down. Um, uh, so far we've added a power commander and um, uh, the S1000 actually comes with slotted cam sprockets, so we're able to adjust the timing, um, cam timing, and with just, just, with very many dyno runs, we were able to actually accomplish this number. You know, Bonneville is pretty interesting. You know, a lot of people think that uh, it's it's just going out on the straightaway and holding the throttle wide open and seeing how fast it goes. And there's a tremendous amount of subtleties in, in actually achieving the top speed. It's not just the ultimate power of the bike, but it is the chain you're running, it's the bearing drag, it's the rider's ability to find that last tiny bit of traction, to find that absolutely perfect touch, and there are subtleties. People come out here and think, oh, well, I'll just go fast because my bike has the most horsepower, and they're the ones that are going home without records. But it's the people that come out here over and over and learn the details and the intricacies of running here. So we're down here at mile zero. Um, mile zero is the starting point for most streamliners and uh, the big boys and the big bikes. Uh, qualifying uh, over 175 will get you a spot at mile zero and a chance to go down the long course. So we got the S1000 out here, um, which uh, made it by uh, 175, no problem. So uh, we're hoping today to go faster. Currently we have 188 is the fastest speed it's done. Let off a little bit. You got time.
common thing said out here is it's not it's not a race it's actually a marathon because you, you there is the ultimate lure of coming out and setting a record like like my dad had said earlier um the first year they came out they set two records uh, how long was it after that until it took you to set another record yeah, it was five more years after that so so the, the lure is there and and, and they're achievable in, in and it's it's so great when you do feel the success but once you've tasted the salt, you have to always come back, whether it takes five years or now here on 10th year. So Bonneville, he had said, was the great white dino. It, it is the big lure to come out here to see, you know, man, machine. I mean, it, it is, it's, it's the ultimate. At our store, we've been racing since the 70s. We were the last BMW dealer to win a Superbike National. The most popular bike we bring out here are various road racers, which is represented here by our HP2. This has been raced by Brian Perriott for quite a few years. Got a sixth place at Daytona, uh, won the uh, Twins Championship AFM. So we threw it in the trailer and brought it out to see what it did. Today we set a two-way record of 159 on it, very loose salt conditions. Yeah, after 10 years of coming out here with everybody else and working on their bikes, I decided to bring my own personal street bike out. Yeah, I have to understand why it's running so lean, but we'll go bigger jets in it. record with this one of 130 miles an hour. So this is the R100 me and my dad originally brought out here to Bonneville. Uh, they got us hooked on Bonneville. Uh, for the past six years I've been racing it. Um, currently have a record at uh, 164.11 miles an hour. First run. First run on the airhead. You got the two right here, Will? You got tight these inner nuts here. You need to tighten them outward, right? Yeah. Outward, yeah. yeah okay. It's a hell of a bike to ride. It, it's just an absolute hoot to think, though, um, that this thing comes out here and goes 164 miles an hour, being as old as it is. Um, and, and the constant joke is how reliable it is. We, we uh, pull it out once a year, dust the cobwebs off it, and uh, come out here and, and just pin it. And, and, and the joke goes, it, it, no work needed. Check the air pressure, and, and, and out it goes. So here we are on the last day of the Bub Speed Trials at uh, Bonneville Salt Flats. We set two records this year under very tough salt conditions. And uh, well, why don't you tell me, what was it like out there riding this bike? It was great. Uh, 188 miles an hour is just phenomenal. Um, I mean, it's bone stock, and, and that's just amazing to do on a stock bike. And uh, I'll tell you what, spinning the tire at 190 miles an hour down the track never gets old. <laughs> well, we'll be back next year and see if we can't top that record. We were within four miles an hour of the record this year, so almost. Yeah.